What's up, everybody? Slim William Games here, back with another video. All right, with the craziness that's going on with the PlayStation 5 and everybody losing their damn minds over it, Vince Lair decided to drop a bomb on everybody by releasing every last PS3 game you can go and download and have a great time. All right, I showed you guys a video on that, uh, I believe, yesterday or uh, the day before that. This video is to actually show you, well, how do I play PlayStation games on my PC? I'm going to show you guys how to actually download the emulator to use for your PS3 games. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, before we go ahead and get started with the emulator, go ahead and smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button on your way out after you watch this video, okay? All right, now, guys, uh go and get the emulator you will go to this website right here okay this is the, this website yeah this website all right yeah this is the website right here guys it's called open source playstation 3 emulator all right now the great thing about this emulator you can use your xbox one x controller or you can use an actual playstation controller if you have one lying around a wireless playstation controller or a wired playstation controller Whichever will work. Me, I'm going to use my Xbox One X controller because that's what I like using the best, all right? Now, let's go ahead and get started. In order for this emulator to work, you will have to need the BIOS in order to use it, okay? The BIOS is right here, all right? You will need the BIOS to actually use the need is for work. It's called the PlayStation 3 Firmware Files, okay? In order for this to work, you will need that file, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So, with the PlayStation 3, you can play every last PlayStation 3 game on your PC in 4K with the Xbox One X controller, all right? Let's go ahead and get started. What you want to do is go to download right here. And whenever you get to this website, no matter what date or time you're watching this video, it always updates, okay? So, all you got to go, it's right here. It's the latest build. And you want to use, uh, you have two download links, one for Windows and one for Linux. I'm going to use Windows because that's what I have. Download for Windows. It's going to take its time and download. All depends on your speed of your computer. And once you do that, <clears throat> you want to go to Open File. As you can see, you have all of these files right here laying around. All right. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can highlight all of these, drag it to your desktop, or... Go to here, download, take this big download right here. You will need WinRAR or 7-Zip for this to work. Me, I like to use WinRAR. We're going to take this file and we're going to go to extract here. Go to yes, 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 yes. Okay, that's, okay, I don't, okay. If it does this, go ahead. If it does this right here, go ahead and take highlight the files, drag them to your desktop. And what you want to do is you want to open the files and you basically want to create a folder. So let's go here, go to, uh, I'm going to go to my D drive. Well, I'm going to go to my E drive PC and I'm going to go create a new file called PS3 uh, system, SY, PS3 system. So all you basically want to go go to your PS, your new uh, folder, take all of these files, drag and drop into your new folder, exit this out. And once you drag and drop all of those files into your new folder, you want to go to uh, RPS3, you want to go here. And you just want to run as administrator and click yes. You're going to get to this website right here. And all you want to do is it's called PS, P, RPS3, S, RPSC3. All right. Hit these two buttons right here. I read the quick start guide and do not show me again. Hit continue. And this is your PS3 emulator right here. You're going to go to here and set everything up. Now. The great thing about this, like I said, what we're going to do is go ahead and set this up. So you want to go to, uh, you want to go to uh, pad. And 
remember when you get to your pad right here it has everything set up all you want to do is go to keyboard and go to input x input once you get the x input everything is good to go your xbox controller is hooked up is hooked up you won't have to change anything on your controller all you want to do is go to save so your xbox one x controller is hooked up or like i said you can go and use a playstation controller if you feel like it but if you are using the xbox one x controller your controller is now compatible you don't have to worry about changing anything all the buttons is set up just like a playstation controller okay now leave this up because we're going to need to install the firmware so you go here go to quick start and this is where you want to install the firmware now unfortunately i cannot leave a link for this so you will have to go on google to just type in playstation 3 firmware or playstation 3 software update i cannot uh, this is just for tutorial purposes i cannot use i cannot all right so what we're going to do is go uh the playstation 3 software system, system software and we're going to go to uh right here it says download ps3 update this is going to take a while to download so once your computer uh, faster internet catches up the download we'll come back and show you guys okay all right once your computer is done downloading you want to go here go to download and bring this to your desktop all right once it's on your desktop, you want to go to File. You want to go to Install Firmware. And you, if you do not see it right here, you want to go to Desktop. And here it is right here. Press it. Go to Open. It's installing the firmware. Do not show me again. It's going to install the firmware, okay? Give it a few seconds to download. And you are good to go. All right, now everything is set up. Now, in order to play the games, you would have you would need to go to file and you need to go to uh boot game. If you have a game installed, downloaded on your computer, all you want to do is go actually find the game, select the folder, and get started playing. Now, um, I do not have the games downloaded yet, but um, this does work. I tried this before. Um, and also, I cannot show you guys the games due to YouTube, but you, know, uh, you guys would know where to find the games from. But this is all you need to do is go here, set it up. Go to file, go to boot game. Once you have your game, your games downloaded, and just select the folder, and the game will start. This is Slim William Games. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm out, guys. Thumbs up. Peace.